Sit down and let me tell you three chilling tales that happened on a Halloween night right here in our town. Our first story is The Woman by the Lake. Linus Carver was an evil man who butchered women who dared walk alone at night. One night he was prowling around and he sees a woman standing by the lake alone. As he approaches he hears her humming. He unsheaths his knife and creeps closer. He's just about to sink his blade into her back when the woman turns around. The man had never seen anything so terrifying. As he stood there paralyzed by fear, the woman reached into his chest and pulled out his still beating heart. How ghastly. Now let me ask you, do you ever feel like someone's been moving your things while you're not looking? Well, this story is called The Midnight Shadows. The home is a hallowed place, or so you might assume. During the day, as the light shines through the windows, they are kept at bay. Reduced to small flittering shapes behind furniture and in corners. But as the sun sets, they grow strong. And as the clock strikes midnight, if all is quiet, they step out of their hiding places. They mimic what they see during the day. But if you see them, they might just want to switch places. Doesn't that just send a chill down your spine? Now it's time for our final story. What are you afraid of? One Halloween night, a woman returns home after a night of festivities. Just as she climbs into bed, she hears a knock at the door. She assumes it's just trick-or-treaters out too late and ignores it. She shuts her eyes. A knock again. She's getting worried and approaches the door. She's just about to turn the handle when a raspy voice on the other side asks, what are you afraid of? She stumbles back terrified. She hears the voice again. What are you afraid of? She finally manages to choke out the word. Y you. She hears nothing. Then footsteps leaving the house. Still shaken, she goes to bed. The next day, while leaving her house, she witnesses a horrible sight. Her neighbor strung up like Halloween decorations, with a grim reminder carved into their flesh. Sometimes fear can save your life. That's all we have time for. I hope those tales terrified you to the core. And until next time, Happy Halloween.